The soothing sound of ocean waves can be an appealing sedative. Around the world, it's a draw for people looking just to relax. In Israel, though, a really popular racket game can make paradise a little loud. Does that sound getting on your nerves even just a little bit? Well, the game is called Matcot, and it's not meant to be competitive, but it certainly has made some enemies. The CBC's Derek Stoffel hears from both sides in tonight's Dispatch from Tel Aviv. This is the soundtrack to summer in Israel. As temperatures soar, the beaches are taken over by the Matcot, a kind of paddle ball that locals here say is Israel's unofficial national sport. Yossi Kalef explains the game he's been playing since he was a kid. We can uh, say it's like tennis, but uh, we play it with this, and the ball is something like that, and we have to give the ball from one to the other one. The rules are simple. There are none. There's no score. You're just playing. There's just back and forth. That's it. Israelis have a reputation of being assertive. They take their sport seriously here with intense rivalries when it comes to basketball and soccer. But at the beach, when the matcot paddles are out, it's much more chill. Well, it's just uh, casual fun. Uh, just come uh, to the beach and play for fun with no, there's no competition. So that's pretty, pretty sums it up. It's just for fun. Not to beat. We both play together, both, you know, in the same team. And we are trying, both of us, to do it harder and faster as we can. The game is indeed popular. It's played up and down the Mediterranean coast here. But for those who want to soak up the sun in peace, it's downright annoying, even dangerous. Tick, 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 tick. These two Israeli filmmakers dislike Matkot so much that they made this video. They say this woman is one of many who has been hurt by careless players. Israeli authorities 50 years ago made sections of the beaches matcot free zones, and city inspectors sometimes patrol looking for offenders. But most of the sunbathers we spoke to weren't too bothered by the sound or the players. I think it's a fun game. It's a fun game. Some people play very well. Yeah, those guys were talking to you down Very well, experts. very well. Still playing very well at the age of 74 is the man who's become known as the Matcott King, Amnon the Cannon. He's out at least once a week for several hours of intense play. Amnon Nisim loves Matcott so much he's turned his apartment into a shrine to the game. He's collected more than 350 paddles, the largest collection in Israel. Show me some of your favorite uh, rackets here, which ones that you like. This marble. Marble, okay. This she painted you can, on can, that. Can. This, Including this, this one, painted by a friend. His museum of Matcott draws visitors from around the world. Who come to experience his lifetime passion. It's a game of togetherness. There are no winners or losers, he says. Hundreds of thousands of people here take part simply for the pleasure of two people playing together. It's thought that people here have been playing Matcott for about a hundred years. Similar versions of the game exist on the beaches of California, Brazil and across the Mediterranean. But for Israelis, this simple sport, two people, two paddles, is now part of their culture. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Tel Aviv.